Hello, my name's Alex. Welcome to the Daily Pilgrim Show. Today we're camping with some, a bunch of YouTubers and doing some really weird sh**. Hello and welcome. We are at Ashen Plains for the Christmas camp. We're going to go and have a look inside in a minute, but uh, first, a bit of setting up to do, put the gas on and uh, maybe a cup of coffee, and then we'll show you what Damon has done with the inside. So, so far, the Christmas buffet hasn't really got going yet, but we've more bits and pieces to put on, and uh, Damon's got his well, I don't know, it's some sort of games console type thing and... Um... PlayStation 5 with steering wheel and VR headset. Yes, this is camping this for is the modern camping. gentleman. Yeah. Hello! Hi. Hi Alex! Hello! Everybody got their cameras out? Absolutely! Yeah. Merry Christmas! Merry Christmas! Merry Christmas. Oh, we, we got our Christmas. Oh Where's... no! Oh, I, he hasn't. I have a Christmas waistcoat. I just remembered I didn't pack it. It's not much good wherever it is, yeah. is it? So I wore my red. I wore my red, and this is my Christmas top. I've got red and white. So red and white. Yeah, <laughs> ho we, ho ho! We made the effort. So yeah. We're so we're going to do a thing. Rick is going to move his van. I'm going to put it there, reversed in, so we've got a nice little C shape going on, and then the uh, the others can go further in. We're just discussing chocolate now. This is the end of Rick's um, indulgence with sugar, isn't it? But we've got to show you this. He's eating a Kit Kat wrong. He hasn't broken it in half, and he's eating it two fingers at a time. That's just wrong on every level. Very now, much. Very much. Much. Hi, can I share some mischief with you that I've just got up to? Yeah, go on then, what have you been up to? I may not have taken my own camera outside. Really? Have you worked it out? <laughs> Last. <laughs> What's going on? There's a heck of a lot going on. That was not his camera. That was not my camera that I managed to get off the table outside, take to the toilet with me. Ah, <laughs> 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 oh, right, Pip, we're, we're doing Christmas presents now. <laughs> Words just there. Pippa's in the kitchen. I've got chickens on it. Keep calm, Pippa's in the kitchen. Thanks. Well, yeah. nobody keeps calm if I'm in the kitchen. Pippa got something for me. Oh, it's a sheep that's only saw the chicken. I might have to insert a picture here. I don't yet have another that works, but I will have another that works. Thank Thanks you. very much. Oh, and Damon's showing off his throw, oh, which was my present from. Alex got Damon on those. Yeah. Yes. Right. Yes. And I also got some other things, and uh, one person even said, "Oh, you really shouldn't have." What, 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 what did we? Um, what, what, what did you get? Oh, I got a very classy mug. Oh yes. One moment, please. Let's never forget. <laughs> <laughs> My sister's. Oh really? Haha! Really? Ha -ha, look at you that. Have. What a what a handsome fellow. Show yourself, yeah. <laughs> I'm getting an idea of what might be in my box. <laughs> oh, look at that. Oh, what's that? Thanks. <laughs> <laughs> he looks like he's he's off shoot. Oh, very much. Thank you very much. Oh. You can't, can't guess what that is. Oh. Is it a dirt bike? <laughs> Sorry, I was saying that. <laughs> I love that that's got Johnny's name on. Yeah. Oh, it's like yeah, you! Sure. Definitely not for me! Thanks, Ella. Unless you were making those. Those are all Apparently, they're not for her either because it's oh, okay. there. Oh, okay. Everybody got extra this year. 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 Oh, okay. Everyb
every year you get like 8, 10, 12 boxes of shit. <laughs> when I was, oh, was child, my little crappy skating Yep, okay. What this could be? He's got a lot of money. I'd end up being gifty. Yeah. Ta-da! Oh, Ta -da! oh look, look at you. For <laughs> <laughs> your two cameras. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you. Oh, you're going to put the bow. Oh! <laughs> Thank you very much. Let's take my. Um, oh, do you right, yours first. Let's take yours first. This is ring. Ah, oh, okay. Master. I wonder what might be in mine. Master mates, yes. Mine's probably going to say you are a. <laughs> <laughs> Rick and Guinevere. Oh, it's got my name on it. Oh, Everything. Oh, got Gwen's name on it. Brilliant. Oh, thank, thank you. Thanks, guys. Appreciate it. You take over. Right. A second. Do you want me to? Yeah. Why not? So I have to get one. I wonder. I wonder what. <laughs> my word. Yeah. yeah. Because you, you haven't got a master, have you? So you've got... Oh no, no, no! <laughs> so I get you miserable sod or something yeah, like that. Yeah. <laughs> Alex and, and Elvis. Elvis. Yeah. Ah. Ooh, oh, what's that like say? So I've got two geese in my garden because. Oh God. <laughs> Read it. Right. All wrapped up with places to go. That's going to have to go on the keyring. Uh huh. is still in the common room, but I have come to put the uh, hot water on for some uh, hot water bottles. Because uh, I'm actually getting quite tired. I was falling asleep in there actually. Um, so yes, I thought I'd just come and put uh, come and put this on and get the bed set up for me and Noah. Because I think everyone else set their bed up. Um, but uh, I haven't for us, so get this on. There we go. We might be some time.
mischief is afoot. Oh, well, sorry, I'll get, I'll get to see it on Rick's video. So what we've done is we've, we've taken Rick's camera that he very foolishly left there, and we've placed it there. You can see? That's there, look. And so now I'm gonna put my camera very discreetly down there and see how long it is before he notices. Good plan, guys. <laughs> Good plan. Let's do it. Talking about rookie mistakes and Rick's camera. Oh, Look, Alex. Come with Pip for a little tour somewhere that Alex shouldn't ever go. The ladies' bathroom. We have a posh bathroom. Look at this. It's much nicer than the men, so I've been told. Do you like to see the beautiful flowers we have? Beautiful. We have our own little shower cubicles. It's very nice in here. So yeah. You're welcome, Alex. You can now see where you should never go. It's a lady safe space. Anyway, I don't actually know how to turn this thing off. Assume it's that big button on the top. I've got to sneak this back in before he sees. I don't actually know where he's gone. Ooh. Hi, where is he? He's in his office. In his office, right. Quick, put it back. So we've had lots of hijinks, um, lots of daft mucking about. Um, and yeah, I, uh, yeah, I don't know whether to say more to come or not, because I don't know what's going to happen next. But uh, I'll give you a little tour, actually, because um, I think I did this at um, at, uh, at night. But um, we've got quite a few people here. So um, obviously I'm here with Noah in Elvis. Um, um, Damon, thank you, um, is there in Nina. Um... Daryl and Keith, and I can't remember the name of their van. <laughs> Sorry, guys. Um, Rick, obviously, in Guinevere. We've got Pippa in um, uh, in Spog. And actually something quite uh, humorous, and I have to say, I think um, a bit naive of me. I just saw this. And I thought that it was rude, but apparently this is actually what you put on um, on surfboards and things. How would I know? And uh, behind me is Jane. Hola! <laughs> and that's Jane's lovely camper there as well. So, there we are. Well, we're here and uh, we're in the communal room as well. We've got some very festive decorations up, which you may or may not have seen already from the, uh, from the array of, uh, of Easter eggs that they've put on. So, I think I've interrupted an important conversation, so I'll go to it. Right, it's now a little tiny bit later on. I did in fact not sleep in there, but I did go and have a little snooze. Well, no, I tried to have a snooze in Elvis, but I wasn't tired and I got this... Um, I, I play a couple of silly games from time to time, and there's this um, this one, and I was given a 1,000 multiplier boost thing for a period of time. I thought, well, I'll just play that for a little bit, and I didn't get to sleep. And then, then Helen phoned, because she was doing a clinic without me today. Well, I say without me. I was actually sat working in there remotely, sort of linking through to her. Um, but, oh, and there's Pippa. So we'll say hello to Pippa. Hello. And so, um, and so, uh, yeah, what was I saying? Something about, um, yes, yeah, something about working. So um, Helen then phoned and not a lot got done. It was a lovely chat, um, but I still didn't get to sleep. So, but that's okay. So I'm now gonna go back in and see what they're all up to. And maybe, maybe well, we're gonna do a little communal meal tonight. So maybe we'll get that started soon. 
So it's supper time on day two and we're having a little communal um, picnic-y thing tonight. So we've got some, some lovely bits and pieces, beautifully laid table, dogs to lie in front of the fireplace because, because you need that. Yeah, we're gonna, uh, we're gonna settle down and feast heartily. So we're now getting rid of the uh, the leftover plates, um, only the cardboard ones, not the china ones. Burning them away, look. Noah is in charge of burning. Take that. <laughs> I'm not doing that with my bare hands because if that catches, well, that's not sound. Um, does. Yeah, that's now cleaning the chimney, but <laughs> oh, it is really. Th th that's exactly what it is doing. That is what you call a roaring fire. Feel yeah. the camera yeah. melting from here. Yeah. That actually reminds me of a story, which I'll share with you right now. So many years ago when I was moving out of uh, uh, one house, a place called Hawley, we lived in a little village, only 24 houses, and we had an open fire rather than a log burner like that, and we had loads of old coats and bits of fabric, and we put them in the fire because we thought we'll get rid of them. And the fire leapt so high up the chimney, <laughs> there were little shreds of burning fabric floating all over the village, and it cleaned the chimney beautifully. story I think now is the right time to do this. Um, I spent a heck of a lot of time at my grandparents house when I was younger and every year for Christmas um, well first of all I'll just say that you know the holiday of the wind and the rain I remember listening um, to that when I was at my granny's years ago so this sort of reminds me of being uh, being sort of led in a in a cast iron bunk bed or half of a bunk bed the bottom half um, just listening to the, the wind in the trees at night. Something else I remember from my childhood with my grandparents is, um, is this. Um, obviously not the shirt that's dangling down, but uh, this um, or can only be described as extremely retro, extremely vintage. Um, that's from Woolworths. Um, younger people will not even know what Woolworths is, but Woolworths was the place that you went to buy things and stuff and so much stuff came from Woolworths. Um, now that um, my granny had from when she was first married and it went up every single year without fail in the living room window um, of her house and she always used to say to me she used to put that up and people would go by and they would look at it and they would smile and they'd be happy. So that isn't just a bit of tat. It's a wonderful, wonderful memory that I've got um, growing up, and every single year this would come out at Christmas time. Um, so I inherited this. This is one of the things Granny wanted me to have. Um, so yeah, it's you know partly reminded me of my uh, of my childhood, and partly uh, bringing a bit of it forward and just a bit of nostalgia. So um, yeah with that in mind I'm not going to have a look at the stars. I probably won't do any more to camera tonight um, but I might do a bit tomorrow when I get up so um, I'll see you a bit later. Myrtle. Myrtle. Myrtle oh, it's like a tiger. Yeah. <laughs> it's going to be like a scene from a Jeremy Clarkson horror film, isn't it? Yeah. <laughs>
coming to the end of the Christmas camp and if I'm honest I'm a bit sad I really really am we've got uh, present bags and things that we're taking back with us and we've all had a nice time uh, and Noah as well now we were worried about Noah because obviously being a, a younger gentleman than the rest of us middle-aged or what's it we're a bit worried he'd be bored but have you had a nice time Noah? yes I have that's good that's good and I know Damon Damon always has a nice time I love Christmas yeah Merry Christmas <laughs> Merry Christmas indeed so Jane has gone we are left with Daryl and Keith Damon me and Noah obviously Rick and Pippa so here we are the final the final bits of anti-festivity as we take away our decorations what can we say I'll say thanks for watching this is my sign off and uh, yeah oh, my little thingy there hope you've enjoyed the video and we'll catch you on the next one say bye everybody but Damon oh no Damon's there so it's, it's, it's Rick we haven't got we'll say goodbye to Rick separately hang on <laughs> hang on Hang on a minute! <laughs> Say bye Rick! Bye Rick! See you on the next one!